All right, Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle. This is a DC comic. Before I even start talking about DC comic of Jew, I'm doing another trailer reaction today. So we're back on trailer reactions. And uh, yes, I do trailer reactions. Hey. But I also do other stuff like comic book reviews and commentating podcasts, collaborations, all that other stuff. Anyways. If you're into that stuff, leave a comment below, join the, the Discord, all the other stuff. Like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. But anyways, let's get to this Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle is a DC, uh, I guess, superhero. Now, I'm gonna try. I'm just going to tell you the truth. I, I have no idea who Blue Beetle is. I don't know the backstory. I don't know anything. So if I was to watch this film, I would say this. I have nothing to back up my argument if I had a problem with whatever happens in this film. The only thing I'd be able to say if I like it or don't like it. But other than that, I can't say I don't like it because this is not how the, how the plot goes or how the story goes. But I have heard of Blue Beetle. I have seen Blue Beetle. I've seen a comic book one time and I saw it actually. I actually saw it on the website where I was buying comics. And uh, I just said, oh, I kind of just scrolled past it. You know, and it's weird when these DC movies come out or even Marvel, because Marvel has one called Wonder Man coming out. Like when I, when I see these films come out and I've no, never heard of them, it's actually pretty shocking. It surprises me a little bit because the Watchmen is a prime example. The Watchmen, uh, even Sweet Tooth, uh, Sweet Tooth show that's on Netflix these are shows and movies that come out of nowhere, and I've never heard of them. Usually, we only expect the ones we heard of: Batman, Superman, then blah, blah blah blah, Justice League, and you know all the Marvels. And then these random movies come out to you is like, oh, because I don't know. Them. I just think like, what? What is this? But it, it don't work like that. Somebody knows them. Somebody likes them. Because I don't see why they would not make a film, or why would they if they were not on that level? Now, there could be a chance that somebody read it and realized this is better than what the world knows. Now that we present a movie, now people are going to start paying attention. Anyways, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and run it, walk into this trailer and give you my take on what I think about this film. Excuse me, Mr. Reyes? You finished scraping the gum off that lounger or what? Uh. <laughs> Everything right now feels so out of reach. You always land on your feet, bro. I like how they remixed that little Uzi. I didn't, I didn't, they don't get out much. <laughs> I just wanna rock. Jenny? God, I bet you life. But do not open it. You went in to get a shop, and all you brought back Big Belly Burger. Burger. Okay, I don't think it's a burger. You haven't looked? George Lopez? What the hell is that? Mm. How did you get it to do that? I think he likes me. You think? It's on your back! Get it off! Get it off! Ooh! Nice look. Hey, man. Damn! This ain't what you want. 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 That is crazy right there. What the? You that host acquired. Who said that? It's okay, it's gonna be okay! A little Iron Man, a little Iron Man look to it, don't it? Re-entry systems ready. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. This say what you want. That that suit is fire, though. I can't lie to you, bro. It's called the scarab. I just want to rock. It's some kind of world-destroying weapon. It's designed to protect its host. This ain't what you want. Sometimes it does what you want, and sometimes what? it doesn't. Imagine being on that bus, though. I, I, I think I cut a bus in half. The scarab chose you, but it belongs to me. Susan Sarandon? That low you feel for your family makes you weak. I just wanna rock. A fly. The universe has sent you a gift. You have to figure out what you're gonna do with it. Whatever you can imagine, I can create. All right, let's party. Oh, yeah! 
Kinda like a Power Ranger, ain't it? A little upgrade. It's like Batman stuff. Trying to think where I see the rat. Hmm. <sighs> All right. So, what am I looking at here? What am I looking at? So, I'm looking at. Uh, I'm looking at something that has some humor to it. I'm looking at something that has. It could be a little cheesy with the character base and how they are. I don't know. Maybe it's like that in the comics. So, um. But the suit is badass. The transformation is badass. And I like the ideal of what I'm looking at. Now, I have a question. This, I, did, it's so, I think it showed the villain. I, I, I would have to look into that to see exactly who that was. It looks promising. So I'm not, I'm not going to sit there. But at the same time, this could be one of those films that is literally an hour and a half long or it feels like it's going to fly by so quick with a whole bunch of kind of like the Power Rangers movie. The Power Rangers movie that came out in 2018. I, I kind of get that vibe from this. It's, to, me, to me, I'm getting the same vibe from that film. That film was not bad, but it wasn't great. And I think that's where this is. And, and I, I could be wrong. This might actually be like a five-star film. But to me, that's the vibe that I'm getting. That it is it, trying to get you family, like a family movie, but still keep it nice action and some epic CGI and st stuff like that. But at the same time, maybe it's sticking to the comic books. I have no idea. But to me... Um, uh, I think I think it looks good. I think it looks good, and uh, why well, go see it? Uh, that's a very I'd had I think I'd had to see at least one more trailer, see one more trailer to see if if it's something that I, I I'm willing to like. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm there, you know, like because again, I'm not a Blue Beetle guy. I didn't read any books. I don't know who he is, but from a film. Point of view from the way I'm looking at this, it looks like something that is entertaining, but I'm skeptical. So I need to see another trailer. And I think the problem with this trailer is this it kind of showed you how he became Blue Beetle. I think it should have avoided that, but there's probably more to that. But it looked like it just pretty much showed he received it, and then he turned it to like. I think some of these trailers are too much tell, too too much, too much telling. They tell too much. So it, I don't I don't know. The trailer could have ruined the story, and the trailer maybe just giving you all the funny stuff and the entertaining stuff. And when you watch the movie, you start watching, and you're saying, "Uh, oh, wait for it to get to the point. Where's the build up? Let's get there." But I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just trying to get a visual of what I what what I see from what I see this trailer. So, so yeah, I'm Jew. See you on the next trailer reaction or anything else you want to watch. Go ahead and subscribe. Deuces.